Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pot stickers, so let's get started. Uh, let's begin with uh, reviewing the ingredients. I have a uh, ground chicken meat, green onion, a little knob of uh, peeled ginger, some Napa cabbage, pot sticker wrappers, cornstarch, seasoning salt, white pepper, soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and sesame oil. Okay, for the prep, um, let's uh, make the filling. I have a Napa cabbage here. I'm going to fine mince it. I cut it in half and then lengthwise. Add this to the ground chicken meat and we'll repeat the same with the top leaves. Okay, have the ginger, I'm going to grate it right into the bowl. Next, let's mince the green onion. Okay, so I've just kind of brought up the, the ground meat to the top here. And let's uh, add the seasoning. Add some of the seasoning salt, white pepper, sesame oil, soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and cornstarch. Let's mix this up. Mix well to combine all the seasonings and the cabbage with the chicken. Okay, so that looks pretty well mixed. Okay, so the filling is done. Let this sit and marinate for 10 to 15 minutes and then we can start uh, wrapping the pot stickers. Okay, so uh, let's uh, start uh, wrapping the pot stickers. Hold a wrapper in your left hand and have a tablespoon of filling. Put it in the center. Wet the spoon. Go around the edge of the wrapper and we'll seal seal the top and we're going to leave about half inch to three quarter opening and this is a really a simple way of making pot stickers there's no fancy pleating required and you just repeat the process with the other wrappers I have a tray here that's lined with a um, piece of wax paper. Just press the top and sides together and leave a little gap at the end. And this has got to be the easiest way to fold the pot stickers. And these are open end pot stickers. And what this does is it allows the seasoning to come out. And also when you're eating it, it has more surface space for browning. So you get more crispiness. Just continue with all the wrappers.
And what I'm doing also is just pushing the edges together so the meat kind of rounds up in the center. Looks a lot plumper. Just seal the edges and leave opening on both sides. And just push both ends together. We all come out looking fairly plump and it's okay if some of the filling uh, spills out because when it's cooking, the juices is gonna flavor the bottom of the pot stickers. So you just repeat the process with the remaining filling. Okay, I have another tray. So let's finish up with all the wrappers here. So that's sealing it, put it down, and just kind of pushing the center. See how it rounds up? And that's what you want. And it looks like I'm gonna have just enough filling for all the wrappers. Okay, see, so now all the pot stickers are done. That really didn't take too long because no pleating was required. So cook up as much as you want and then the rest, we can pl you can place the entire tray into the freezer and let it set up and make sure that they're spaced apart nicely and not touching each other. And once they harden, in harden up enough to handle, put it into a uh, freezer bag and place it in, and leave it in the freezer and you can have pot stickers anytime you like. Okay, so let's start cooking. Okay, so uh, let's start uh, making the pot stickers here. I have a um, cast iron pan set at a medium heat. We'll add a generous amount of oil. Just swirl it around to cover the entire surface. We'll add the pot stickers. to one cup. I have hot water here. So that means it's going to cook up faster. Add the hot water and cover it. And let this fry steam for about five to seven minutes and we'll check on it. Okay, so I can hear that the oil is popping in the pan. So that means uh, the water has been absorbed. So let's uncover the pot stickers. That looks good. So let this continue to pan fry for a couple minutes uncovered until it creates a really nice brown crust at the bottom. Okay, as you can see, all the water is gone, the oil is gone. So don't burn the bottom. This is done. Let's plate this. I'll show you what the bottom looks like. Oh, nice crispy brown. That looks good. So let's plate this. Okay, let's put this on the serving tray. And it smells wonderful in here. Can't wait to dig in. Okay, I'm just gonna put this aside for a second. I'll show you how to make a quick uh, dipping sauce. I like to use a two to one ratio of vinegar to soy. So this is the vinegar, soy sauce. And you can add any kind of chili sauce you like. I have one uh, tablespoon. And if you like it spicier, just add more. And I like to use uh, this uh, Godmother brand. It's a fried chili in oil. And here we have a delicious plate of golden brown open end pot stickers with a chili soy vinegar dipping sauce. Enjoy.
Okay, let's see if Shadow likes pot stickers. Ooh, she does. Ooh, you hear the little crunch? Thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time. Eat well and be healthy.